condolences, mate, on the loss of your, your great mate, Tommy. Uh, yeah, a bit of a bastard, mate. You can't replace a Tommy. It's one thing to sort of sign a bloke to your club, another bloke, another thing to become his best mate. Why, uh, why did you blokes become such fast mates so quick? I was re really, my job would be these days called recruitment. And Warren's was teaching him how to play and Tommy's was teaching him how to win. I'd always admired the way that Tommy played. Absolutely extraordinary desire. Super intelligent, not educated, but really intelligent, really got things. Tommy and I just found to be a charismatic character, a great friend, and uh, it worked. It just worked. When I think of you and Tommy, my strongest memory is 2000 Golden Slipper Day. <laughs> <laughs> and Andrew and I are walking into to, to Rosal Racecourse. I didn't know what mark who we were supposed to go to. We played the night before and got flogged. But you blokes grabbed us and said, come in here, you're staying with us. And I'm looking over, I said, mate, have a look at that. And you, there was, there's yourself, Bob Hawke, Tommy and Kamal. Pretty eclectic group yeah. of blokes. And Tommy's telling the stories. He says, oh, this f***ing like, yeah, f*** this. And Kamal and <laughs> Bob, they just pissed themselves laughing. <laughs> but that day, Bell de Jour's one. What a day. Lane cleared and they're set for the Amy Golden Slipper. They're racing and Bell de Jour came up in the air. Beasley was nearly catapulted out of the saddle away quickly. French Braids. Great Crusader rambled up on the outside of King of Danes. Two lengths assertive loud and French Braids about to burst into clear. Phoenix Park in front of her. Great Crusaders hit the lead at the 200 from King of Danes. They were followed by assertive lad. And here's the winner. Crown Glory starting to storm home with Belle de Jour. Belle de Jour's got the run with Crown Glory. Belle de Jour hit the lead. And one of the great wins in the Golden Slipper after bungling the start. She's won it from Crown Glory. You shouted the whole you know, public and the yeah. race course. Free piss in the public bar all night. Can you say that on Sky? <laughs> we just did. Anywhere outside the, the, members, the members. No not members the members. allowed. No members, no. No, no members. In the public bar, mate. Free two is all over. How much they cost you? No idea. No idea. But we'd won so much it didn't matter. It was a pretty pretty good day. It was a big day. What 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 it cost, I don't care. Yeah. Really. But uh, I asked, I, some things I don't want to know. Before we get off Tommy, talk about that 81 season, how much fun it was. Mate, that, that semi-final singer, Manly versus Newtown, the SCG, Broadhurst versus Bowden. Were you, were you at the game? Yes. And I what, were you, what were you thinking when it was taking place? Well, I thought, we're going to be a few blokes short here. <laughs> <laughs> First scrum win to Newtown. Renogas around the side of the scrum. There's a brawl erupted now. We always had a feeling that there was a certain favouritism shown to Manly. And we certainly had to get over the top of them early. But when they blew the whistle, Broadhurst then copped the perfect headbutt from Bowden. And there's uh, a headbutt got in there from a Newtown player and it started all over again. And that was bad enough because he got sent off. Well, the next play, Tommy got the ball and he saw Les Boyd shaped up to take him out of the game. So he passed a beautiful pass right out over the sideline <laughs> yep. to no one. And he ran straight at Boyd and belted him. And it was all on again. They just said, teach them how to win. Mate, teach them how to win. That 81 season, Singer, what odds were you at the start of the year? Because no one gave you a chance. I got 50 to 1. 50 to 1. Did you have a go on it? Yeah, I had five grand on it, which is a quarter million dollars in 980. It was like I sold the most expensive house in Sydney at that stage. It was on the front page of the Sunday papers. New record, Singer's new da da da. And it was $840,000 for a a waterfront house at Rose Bay in a spare block where we built a tennis court. Played once, didn't win, didn't play again. Didn't like tennis. That, that gives you an idea of what it was. 250 grand was, it was a house, a really good house. <laughs>